Welcome back. We are actually here with a different family. It's the Billingsley family. Wow, the Sims, you know, generated names are quite interesting. This is Cade Billingsley, and we are going to create him and his family because he is going to play an important part in our Let's Play. And I kind of debated on whether or not I wanted um, to show you this, like I w whether I wanted you to know what I know, but we're only going to have like really one-ish video of Raven not knowing. So I think it's okay for us to kind of, you know, be waiting for her to find out the big secret. So uh, this is Cade and his wife, Marie. So they are going to be moving into Newcrest. And we are going to play with genetics to get their two children whose names already escaped me because it's not important. But they you know, are the two kids. So a girl child and a boy toddler. And I had a small struggle because I was like, oh, you choose sibling and not parents here. Anyway, so um, it depends on what sim you have selected, uh, as it turns out. I'm not, I'm not a create a sim expert here, but um, we are going to move along from this family and we are going to move them in to Newcrest, into one of the empty houses that we have. I actually think it's, um, shoot, what was her name? It was Josephine's mom's house, the military person, the strangerville. Man, I, I forget, I forget her name. That's probably not nice of me. But anyway, um, I am moving them in and then I am having him come and introduce himself to the neighbors on Winterfest. So Cade is going to come over and introduce himself to uh, Father Winter because look who's over here. But um, Father Winter and then also to uh, Raven. So he's just like, hi neighbor, like blah, blah, blah. And she's like, hey, what's up? And then I switch over to Raven. So we're just switching to her because she's the sim we're playing. And um, so she's here, her new neighbor has just come over to say hello, and she is, you know, friendly with him, and her social is down, so she might as well try and, you know, get to know some other people, and um, also I'm just checking on Lexa's pregnancy, because I'm really excited about when the baby's gonna be born. And so, you know, she's just chatting with him, they're just hanging out, and she, like, kind of gets the feeling that he's, like, interested in her, and she doesn't know right now that he has a family. She has no idea. She, he's just like, oh, yeah, I moved in up the street, like, hey, and uh, he didn't bring any of them over with him, so she's just like, oh, hey, how's it going, like, and then also she's thinking to herself, like, you know, she has low social a lot and also she has some low fun and while well, watching a movie would solve for that um there's also other better ways to solve for that so they're just chatting and you know she she has needs so anyway she is going to just flirt with him a little bit you know he's flirting back she has no idea that he's married and he's obviously a jerk but she doesn't know that, and she just, you know, wants to have some fun. She's not really interested in, like, committing right now or anything. She is still very much focused on her career. She's not really worried about, you know, the next heir just yet. So she is just, you know, getting a little flirty with her new neighbor. No harm, no foul. And then we are getting her ready for her work day because I want to make sure that all of her needs are looking pretty good for her work day. I want her to get lots of promotions. So I'm also going to try and get her to eat something really quick before she goes to work. We are running really low on time here, so she's got to hurry up a bit. And honestly, it must have been the haunted house thing because it is running. the game is running so much better now that I'm just like in a nice one sim regular household over here. <laughs> So I don't know what the deal was with that, but that's okay because she is about to go to work and, you know, she's got a little something brewing on this, you know, with her neighbor. It is, I was going to say on the side, but well, I guess on the side of her career, but he's got something on the side and he's, that's bad. But anyway, so she is going to go to work right now. Here we go. 
and then she is going to start getting some things done. So as per usual, we have to swab a patient and then also check their eyes and then also run tests to find diagnoses. So now that she is to find a diagnosis, diagnosis, anyway, so now that she is able to actually figure out, you know, what the diseases are and then be able to treat patients, now that she is, you know, moved up enough to be able to do that, she starts to have as her task to actually run enough tests to get a, a diagnosis. So that is a little bit of a bummer actually for us because we used to be able to get points for each individual test that we run, but now it's just like run tests until you get a diagnosis. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but you know, what are you going to do? That's what happens when you move up. It gets harder. So she is, you know, thinking about what this could be. He's got steam coming out of his ears, so it's bloaty head. It's not sparkly, so it can't be sparkly eyes or whatever that is. So she, uh, you know, treats him and sends him on his way. And then we are going to work on our next patient. We have to swab and also do a treadmill test. And, you know, as it says, run tests. So we are going to just head over to the treadmill because that's something that we can do. She's also sad because um, Winterfest went really poorly, but you know, whatever. So that's why I deleted all the holidays and then I added them back in because I was like, oh, maybe holidays are fun. Like maybe it would be better to have the holidays. And so I added them back in. That's why they don't look quite right. And now I'm just like, why did I do that? So anyway, uh, we're at silver already, which is great. So we are going to bring her back to the bed and she looks like she might have starry eyes. Ah, it's starry, not sparkly. Anyway, so she looks like she might have that because she's got this, the sparkles around her head. And so we are going to continue to, you know, do some tests on her and we're actually getting pretty close to gold already, which I'm really excited about, but Raven needs to go to the bathroom. <laughs> So uh, that's something that I am worried about, but we're so close to the end of the day. I, I don't want to, you know, anyway, we got to gold and now we're running to the restroom. <laughs> so that is what we're going to do. And I was going to keep working on patients, but you know, we already have the thing we need to get promoted. So there is that now it's kind of, a lot of the promotions are like, diagnose and treat patients, diagnose and treat patients. So luckily these are, you know, things that aren't too difficult for us to do. It'll be harder when we get into like give a sim surgery or, um, you know, uh, help a, a sim in labor or so, you know, so that, that'll be more difficult in the future. But for right now we are in a pretty good position. And since we still have some time left before the day is up, I was like, go get your fun up by running on the treadmill. But, you know, the day is pretty much up. So she's going to head home now. Unfortunately, no promotion today, which is kind of a bummer. But, you know, you have to actually work for it. You can't just complete the task and then be like, promote me. So anyway, uh, here she is at home. And we are going to invite Cade over again because her fun is pretty low. And she's like, you know what's fun? Mm-hmm. Woo-hooing. So she invites him inside and, you know, they don't really know each other that well. Like she's just looking for a good time and he is happy to give it to her and her dad is here. <laughs> so she's like, hey, dad, like you just interrupted my woo call. So whoops. Um, so she's just chatting with Kate a bit and then she has to actually talk to her dad because he is showing up on her doorstep with a present and she's not going to say no. So... Um, you know, this is embarrassing <laughs> for her. It's embarrassing for your dad to be outside, you know, while you invite a, a man over. So, um, she is going to get the present from her dad and then ask her dad to leave. Be like, oh, thanks. Like, you know what? It's actually pretty late. It's past 10 o'clock. So you should get home to mom and, and, uh, you know, I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> so she does that. And then, um, she invites Cade to woohoo because look at how quickly that gets your fun up. I mean, it is, it's good. It's good for needs. 
Um, and then she's tired, so she is going to go to bed. He's actually going to uh, leave because he has a wife and kids at home. He can't like stay out all night. Um, I think what was it? I gave him the salary person career, so he uses that as an excuse. So he'll say like, "Oh, I'm working late," because you know, sell the salary person career. You know, they end up working a lot, and they're like, "We're all workaholics." So he's actually not very good at the salary person career because he's really been sneaking off to do whatever he wants after work instead of actually working late. So that is what is going on there, and she is just going to get ready for her next day of work. So. That is why we're trying to get her fun up, get all her needs up, just making sure that she is doing really well because work is starting very soon. So here we go, work in th right now. So um, we are heading back to the hospital and yes, here we are, the Willow Creek Hospital. And she has to swab per usual and uh, discuss general health and then run tests to find a diagnosis. So she's talking to this woman, asking her about her health, swabbing her, running tests on her, and then we are going to head over here and analyze the results of the, the swab. And she has a headache. So the way that you do the doctor career is you watch The Sims. So like you look at her, she's got a headache. She's got steam coming out of her ears. You have to pay attention to the symptoms and it helps you make a good guess when you narrow down the results to what is actually wrong with them. So again, um, we go with bloaty head and then treat her. So then we come over to this pregnant sim. She is definitely very pregnant and but she's not here because she's pregnant she's here for something else and we are going to also finish treating that other patient because for some reason it queued up before that and then we're going to come back to her and be checking her ears you know working really hard on all of this and you know she's got stars around her head so you know you're just paying attention to this kind of stuff and trying to figure that out and we're getting pretty close to a gold again we already completed the things we needed to complete for to get a promotion so really what we're trying to do is get the gold here so she does that and then we treat the patient I'm always worried like what if I was wrong what if I was wrong about the diagnosis because you lose performance if you're wrong so anyway um, she's hungry so since we have plenty of time left in the workday I'm gonna send her to go buy a sandwich and then she is going to work on her needs a little bit before she leaves. And for some reason it looked like she bought two sandwiches. Don't know what happened there, but whatever. Um, we have so much money, it doesn't really matter. She is then going to go to the bathroom after she finishes her sandwich. And then take a little nap, although she doesn't get through all these things. Because the workday is over in one sim hour. And it's takes... <laughs> It's kind of actually ridiculous when you think about her taking like three hours to eat a sandwich. Anyway, she got promoted, so we're super excited about that. We are just working through the ranks here. Very exciting. So now she's home, and actually what she's going to do is invite Kate out on a date. Actually, he says no, um, because they don't really know each other well enough. But she's like, uh, look how good I look in this CC outfit. Are you kidding me? So she's like... I just have them travel together to the nightclub. And look, did you see that? Bellamy has a new job as the Mount Komorebi mascot. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm like so entertained by that. Now all of his pictures are him as the mascot. <laughs> so that is so funny. That is just so funny to me. He is now the mascot. Anyway, um, we are headed to this nightclub in Windenburg. Because they always have woohoo spots at their public locations. So um, she is just going to chat some more with Kate. I'm going to remove the embarrassed buff because she's not embarrassed. She's like, oh, please, like, you didn't say no to me. We still went out. So um, maybe he was like, no, I can't, you know, because his wife was giving him a hard time. But then she, like, wrote him again. And he was like, oh, but okay, all right, all right. So, um they are just going to chat and actually just, you know, get to know each other a little better because, you know, they are 
doing stuff. Anyway, there's Lexa. So she's like, oh, hey, Lexa. Like, fancy seeing you out here. I mean, I guess it it turns out that a lot of the sims that are around are my sims because I've been playing this for so many generations. But anyway, so she is going to enjoy her time with Kate out at the nightclub. And uh, Lexa is here. So she's like, hey, sis. And also that ghost right there, Finn. Yeah, that's right. It's Finn. Finn, who's supposed to be immortal. And you can still see the little immortal symbol around their neck. But no. Whatever. They're ghosts now. I just... does Whatever. <laughs> I thought immortal was supposed to make them immortal. Whatever. Um. So, what is happening here? She is uh, just continuing to chat with Cade. And she, like, basically says, like, why don't you stay over my place tonight? Like... You know, she's feeling very flirty. It's, you know, she had a long day at work and she just wants to blow off some steam and she wants to have a good time. And actually here, I did click ask him to be her boyfriend and actually it didn't go through. But I thought from now on, I, I was operating under the assumption that they were dating even though they're not anyway. So um, they are going to continue to be flirty with each other. And, you know, she's just having fun. And, like, when she, like, she says, like, oh, that's my boyfriend. It doesn't, it's not, like, my boyfriend with a t an intent to be my husband. It's, like, just my boyfriend. Like, we're just, you know, we're keeping it light. We're not, like, you know, being too hardcore about anything. She's not really concerned about, you know, she's, like, I got plenty of time to have an heir, to get married, to do whatever. But I'm working on my career right now. And I just want someone who will be there every time I want a woohoo. So, that is what is going on there, and they are, you know, just really getting along pretty well, and um, that is pretty much where we're going to wrap up this video. They're going to, again, <laughs> woohoo, and um, then I was just checking. It looks like uh, Alexa also had her child, and the child's name is Lindsay. And Lindsay is not a spellcaster. And um, that is where we are wrapping up. So we are heading into screenshots. There's Finn. Um, anyway, so this is where we're at. And in the next one, you know, maybe some things will come to light. So there's Bellamy. <laughs> I will catch you guys next time.